When you kick with right, your left leg is doing all the work. So you open up your left foot. We turn our foot every time we kick. So when we step in, or when we do a stationary low kick in combinations, we open up our foot first. So we create tension. So you open up your foot and you create tension and then finally you release it. When you open it up, you release it by letting your hips go. You only use your right leg to push off and keep tension in that right leg. So when you kick with right, you use it, you're kicking actually with your left side. You're turning your foot and throwing your hip in. So what happens is that you chop down. So your right knee goes to the front and then at last it turns in. So you have a chopping motion. Your left side does all the work. You see? When you kick with your right you have to be at the left side of your opponent. So you have the full range of motion to kick through the leg. So you really can chop down with all the range of motion with all your body weight. So when you kick your knee goes up and then down you chop down on your opponent's leg. It's important to move to the left side and not like this to the right side. So to do it properly you have to have a good stance and then step not too broad and then step to the left side so you can chop down with all your weight. When you kick with your right you are aiming with your right knee so your right knee goes up and then down. And it's then also very important to bend your right leg slightly so you kick with the shin and not with your own toes so you don't break them. After a good low kick I want to see a good retreat which means if you go round to kick and round to go back it takes a lot of time. Now I want to, to kick round and go straight back, back to a safe distance, a bit further away than where you stood when you kicked. So you can react properly when your opponent does a counter attack or wants to do one at least. Now you'll stop your opponent's counter attack with the right cross, you step out and throw a different but very effective and hard low kick. So after the kick you get back to a safe distance so your opponent has to move in to attack you and you stop them with a the right cross. It's very important to use your entire body rotation to your entire reach of your right cross. So to do that you turn your hips and then your entire shoulder. So you pull back on your left shoulder to punch. Now we step outside of our opponent's line of attack by cutting the core. Don't lean forward when you throw the right cross because then you cannot move anymore. So it's very important to keep your balance in the middle. So keep it in the middle when you throw the right cross. So it's easy to step outside with your left foot and then turn 45 degrees. But like this, you cannot move. In this combination, it's important to cut the corner slightly, to turn only 45 degrees, because of the next kick. When you're gonna do the next low kick, the 45 degree angle is the perfect fit. So, when you do the combination, you kick beautiful, you go back, you punch, you step outside, and then you turn your feet towards your opponent and you kick and when you kick it's you use your hip it's more like a knee you use you come up on your toe and you throw your shin to the front and you hit it with right under your knee like the very hard part of your shin you see be careful when you train this it is a very devastating although not so beautiful kick it's important to do the kick at 45 degrees so don't step out 90 degrees like my partner will do now because then you're too far away to have proper penetration of your shin so once you're at 45 degrees it is a rather simple technique what you will do is you will step right to the front come up on your toe and throw your hips in like I will show you right now once you're there you step in Come up on your toe and swing your shin in. It is as if your shin is an axe that hangs on a rope and swings from back to front. And once it hits, you better be sure this is the very 
devastating kick, it will cut down your opponent for sure. Game over.